Um, moving away from medical situations, uh, two questions, but I, uh, if okay, as a very similar, I lump them. One question is, should I be paying my zakah in the month of Ramadan? And the next question is, how should zakatul mal, zakatul mal be calculated? Okay, so strictly speaking, strictly speaking, you pay zakah when your zakah, when it's your zakah date. When right. your zakah, sorry, it's can you your zakah date. Okay, fine. So when zakah is paid, usually how zakah becomes obligatory upon a person is that there comes a point in their life when they become sahibun nisa, when they, when they, when the, the, the amount of money they have in excess of their basic needs, or particularly in the Hanafi mother, the amount of gold or silver they have. Right. Right. Uh, uh, is in excess of uh, in, in excess of their basic needs reaches the the nisab amount, which at the moment um, is calculated based on silver. So the silver price has plummeted, so at the moment it's about two hundred and fifty or pounds. Yes, you have to check it. You can check it every day. A lot of these daily changing rates. A lot of the Muslim charities publish daily figures. Yeah, um, so it's about two hundred and fifty pounds. 240 something actually the last time i checked uh, uh in, in early in Ramadan, and uh so so as soon as you reach that amount you now have you, you don't yet pay zakat but you have you've reached the qualifying amount then if a year has passed on so let's just say obviously you're going to reach that level at a particular date right yeah right um so let's just say you reach that level on the 10th of december 2019 yeah yeah then if a year passes on that amount of money yes yes whether it stays the same or whether it increases the next uh then then the next it's not going to be 10th of december because it's going to be based on lunar year meaning when one lunar year passes which is you know, let's just say it's not the 10th of December, it's the 10th of uh, Muharram. Yes. Blessed day, right? It's the 10th of Muharram. Um, the next 10th of Muharram, whatever your balance is, surplus to your basic needs, obviously above the Nisab. So you, you started with 250, 250 pounds, your Nisab. At the end of the year, you've earned more money, you now have two and a half thousand. Yes? Yes. That is your balance. Uh, let's just say 500, a uh, thousand pound of that is gold. Yeah. Yeah. And 1500 pound of that is cash. Yeah. Okay. On the next, on that 10th of Muharram, a year after you became in possession of Nisab, you paid two and a half percent on that two and a half thousand pounds. Okay. Right. So yes. what does that mean? That means the date of Zakat is set based on when you qualify. It's not set based on Ramadan. Right. Now what some people do is they wait, they, 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 they set their zakat aside, they wait until Ramadan to pay it, mm -hmm. to get extra reward for giving in Ramadan, or they pay in Ramadan in advance. Mm -hmm. Now, both of those things are permissible, but you shouldn't delay if there is need. Of course. If there are people who need your zakat, you shouldn't delay it, right? You should pay as quickly uh, as possible, uh, inshallah, there is more reward in responding to a need than it is to pay your zakat in Ramadan. Uh, just to uh, 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 sort of allude to that a bit further, Shah, when you say need, of course, uh, are we talking about a specified need, for example, a family member, an extended person, or? Yeah, so the priorities are, so the way you prioritize is yes. you, uh, you, 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 you go for the nearest and then the nearest, right? And the nearest in terms of people and relationship to you, they should be prioritized. Yes. So your immediate uh, uh, relatives, excluding, so parents, grandparents, are, are not, you're not allowed to give them zakah. Children, okay. grandchildren, you're not allowed to give them zakah, mm -hmm. right? Um, but, uh, but pretty much, uh, and you're not allowed to give zakah to your wife or your husband. Yes. But pretty much everybody else among your relatives you can give zakah to. If they are if they are needy or in debt, even you have zakat to give. Somebody needs it who you normally would give zakat to. What are you going to do? Make them wait for six months? Yes. You have to give it to them when they need it because that is the purpose of zakat, 
right? If you have the money to give a person and it's needed, you give it based on the need. However, if it also, if Ramadan is near or if it, your zakat date happens to be in Ramadan, some people adjust so that they end up paying zakat every year in Ramadan. If that happens to be the case, um, then fine, give it in Ramadan. It's not a problem. Fine. Okay. So it isn't necessary to give in Ramadan. Yes. Okay. So the necessity doesn't exist. Of course, no. as you explained, no. you have to calculate based on uh, the individual's calculations and, of course, um, as the rest of the uh, uh, lunar calendar carries out. <clears throat> and people should, you know, I always say that people often learn about these things in a reactionary way. As mm -hmm. in, they have the money, now they want to find out about it, which is fine. But because it's one of our fara'id, people should learn in advance so that, they, so that they know before it suddenly hits them, they know. All of our fara'id, we have to know about. So obligatory to learn about them beforehand. Okay? <laughs> Yes, no, Jazakallah khair for that, Sheikh. I think it's very important that you stress the fact that, you know, the fara'id, as much as we know our salah, we should understand our zakat as well and not just leave it waiting for that moment to come. Um,